warm-up combination this week. We're going to be working on the 45 degree Agiuke and Gyakazuki. First we do the basic combination, then we'll go over to the dummy and try and apply it. So, first of all, let's get the feet right. I've got my Emerson lines drawn out here. I'm going to stand in the center and I'm going to shift just my right leg on this diagonal line here behind me. And I'm facing that corner. So what that means in terms of my opponent is I'm at a 45 degree angle to my opponent when I'm delivering the combination. Not when I'm starting. The movement goes from one side to the next just because uh, you do the combination in a flowing movement. But it doesn't mean you start from this position and move to this one. So keep that in mind for when we do the application behind this. So from here, hands on hips, up into Musubi Dutch, back out into Zenkutsu Dutch. We go up, we go to the right diagonal line. We go up, left leg goes to the left corner. Up, out, up, out, up, and out. Now let's add the arms. Blocking face for the leg that's in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's add a counter technique. Punch and come on. Shuffle, block, punch and come on. One, block, punch, come on. Two, block, Punch, come on. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's move over to the dummy and see if we can figure out an application behind this. Right, so first of all, when we look at the angle, we know that if this is my opponent's center line here, that I want to end up at a 45 degree angle in regards to my opponent's center line. I want to be pressing, controlling my opponent here, quite possibly grabbing that, uh, my opponent's left arm with my left arm and punching them in the ribs. And from there, basically the combination's over, and now you can move behind, choking them out, throwing them, whatever you want to do there. So, let's look at this again. If I'm in this position here, most of these combinations weren't intended for blocking and then moving. Although, you could quite possibly try and use it for that as well. It's just if someone's throwing three or four punches in a row at you, it's gonna become very difficult to try, try and do a basic karate movement. So, the way that I think about this is I'm probably in the clinch where we are knee kicking and biting and swearing at each other and telling bad jokes or whatever. And I need to control my opponent's limbs. So, from this position here, let's say my right leg's in front. So, if my left leg is behind, I'm going to move to my right side. If my left leg was in front, I'd probably be moving to my left side. So, just for the camera's purposes, I'm going to put my right leg in front. We're fighting here, trying to hold on to the grip, trying to get the upper hand. At some point, maybe I give a nice slap and I feel I can control this arm. So, I'm going to strike into it and I'm going to try and bend it at the elbow. So, you want to hit into here, bend the arm. Now, I want to break out of this grip. And I want to get to the outside of my opponent's left arm. So I'm going to use my face block, which means this arm is going to come up. I'm going to shuffle in and out. Now at this point I'm controlling and I can be hitting the ribs. I can also grab the arm and control it here. Don't go looking your opponent in the eyes here because this will be smacking you in the face. So when you control this here, you need to pull your opponent in. Once you close, this is the point where you're going to hit. So let's look at it from the other angle. So if I'm here, for example, and let's say my left leg's in front now. Again, fighting, I find the opportunity, 
where I can push down on my opponent's arm. I bring the other arm underneath to control both arms here. I'm covered. I shuffle in out. I'm controlling. I start doing some strikes to the ribs, punches, elbows, palms, doesn't matter. I seize my opponent's right arm, dragging him or her close to me so that I'm not that close for the left arm to be hitting me in the face. And from this point, I can be attacking my opponent. Let's look at it one last time, then you go practice on your own. So from this position here, we're fighting. I feel I get an opportunity. Maybe I suck my fingers in the eyes. I bend the arm, scoop up, shuffle in, shuffle out, deliver a strike, seize the arm, maybe kick, sweep, whatever you want to do. Right, that's for this combination. Have fun.